Alright, this is the Geometry uh, Practice Quiz 6-1 and what we're going to do right now is the first problem looking at uh, this is problems 1 through 3 um, so the first question is um, what is the sum of the interior angles for this polygon well this is a six-sided polygon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six. Six sided polygon. So to find the sum of the interior of the interior angles of the of this hexagon, this by the way is a hexagon. Okay. Uh, the sum of the interior sides is equal to the quantity, the number of sides, that's what N stands for, number of sides minus two, um, times 180. Times 180. Okay, so the number of sides, number of sides is six. So the sum of the interior sides, of the sum of the interior angles of this hexagon, is the quantity six minus two times 180. So subtracting two from six, I get four times 180. And multiplying four times 180, uh, I get 720. So the answer number one is um, 720 degrees. Okay. Number two, what is the value of x? Well, if the sum of the interior angles is 720 degrees, we can construct an equation that looks like this. Starting so we know that the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C plus the measure of angle D plus the measure of angle that's a D of angle E plus the measure of angle F equals 720 degrees. So now we replace the expressions for each of these angles for the measure for their measure of angles. So starting with A I have X minus 1. So I have X minus 1 plus x plus 7 plus x plus 6 plus 3x minus 5 uh, plus 2x plus 3 plus x equals 720. Now, notice that the sign or operator prior to the parentheses in each case is a positive. So we can just drop the parentheses now and we have x minus 1 plus x plus 7 plus x plus 6 plus 3x plus minus, sorry, let's try that one again, 3x minus 5 plus 2x plus 3 plus x equals 720. Alright, so let's combine our like terms. So we're going to, let's see here, let's go for the x first of all. So we have x, we have an x here, we have an x here, a 3x, a 2x, and an x. So counting up my x's, so I have 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, so I have 9x, okay? Now let's combine my like terms for the um, just normal numbers. I have negative 1 and a 7, a 6, a negative 5, and a 3, so 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus 6 is 14. 14 minus 5 is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. So I have 9x plus 12 equals 720. Double check my math again. Make sure I got all my numbers correct. So I have negative 1. Oh, we already have a problem there. Negative 1 and 7. 
So see, you have to double check these things. And always double check yourself. Let's try that again. So I have negative 1 and 7 is 6. 6 and 6 is 12. 12 minus 5 is 11. 11 plus 3 is 14. Did I have that before? I'm not sure. I think I had 12 before. 14. 9x plus 14. So now I'm going to subtract 14 from both sides of the equation. And I wind up with 9x over here. 720 minus 14 is 706. And now I'm going to divide both sides of the equation. Let's just do a line here. So now I'm going to divide 9x by 9. Always divide by the, if you're trying to eliminate the number next to the variable, do the opposite operation. 9 is multiplying the x, so the way to eliminate the 9 is by dividing that side of the equation by 9. And what you do to one side of the equation, you do to the other. So we go 706 divided by 9. So using calculator, because we want to do this quickly, 706, 706 divided by 9 gives me 78.44 degrees. So x is equal, we'll just go 78.5. So it's approximately 78 and a half degrees. Okay, so if x is 78 point, well, I should say 78.5. It's not a degrees, that's the value of x, 78.5. So now let's plug in for each of the, um, each of the, uh, each of the expressions here and find out the uh, degree of each of the angles. So angle A then, measure of angle A, would be 78.5. 78.5 minus 1, so that's going to be 77.5. Measure of angle B is going to be 78.5 plus 7, so that's going to be 85, 85 and 0.5. Uh, here I've got x plus 6, so measure of angle C is going to be 78.5 plus 6, so that's 84.5. Um, measure of angle D then is going to be 3 times 78.5 minus 5. So if I go 3 times 78.5 and I subtract 5 from that, I get uh, 230.5. Measure of angle E is going to be 2 times 78.5. Plus 3, so then I go 2 times 78.5 plus 3, and I get 160. And the measure of angle F should be 78.5. Obviously, this is not a regular hexagon because all the angle measurements are different. Now, to verify, if we add these all up, we should get close to 720. And the reason I say close is because this is an approximation. This is an approximation. So uh, this should actually be a little, this is approximately equal to 78.5. So if I add up 77.5 plus 85.5 plus 84.5 plus 230.5 plus 160 plus 78.5 I get 716 716.5 so I'm a little off should get 720 if it was exact so but that's close done